Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another Footies Friday is upon us. We have week number three of Footies here today in FIFA 22. I'm gonna take a look at the SBC's objective content and just everything that we should expect for today on Friday inside of this game because Footies has been pretty great so far, but can it continue, especially with the same cards staying in packs today batch two is staying in packs there is no new cards dropping on the game today i know for some of you guys that's a little bit of a disappointment but there's some really good content that could be coming out today so we're going to take a look at all of that what to expect on the market as well depending on if this week is really Syria based which we think it is going to be so if you're excited for even a new summer swaps program starting today hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new, we're going to start from the top and talk about the premium SBC, the Voodies vote winner that we should see as an SBC today. And it's no surprise, this was just leaked a couple of hours ago. Barella has won the Footies five star skill, five star weak foot voting, and he should be getting a card today. So he is our number one winner. We don't have any idea on who number two is going to be between Zapata or Luis Alberto, but always that number one winner has been released on Friday, just last week as Rafinha was, and the week before as Luis Diaz was. So this is a predicted stats on Barella, but look at the type of card we could be getting here. Of course, it would be five-star skills, five-star weak foot. That was the whole premise of the footies vote that we had just a couple days ago on Wednesday. So this is like a really guaranteed piece of content that I'm expecting to see today on this game. Now, also with this in SBCs, we're going to be expecting some Serie A content and objectives. We've talked about this from earlier in the week as well, but the Tammy Abraham and the Vera 2 are added to come via dynamic duo objectives. So Renan Lodi and the Cunha are going to go away. This will replace that. Hopefully this Tammy Abraham today is a really boosted card, either five star or four star, uh, sorry, uh, weak foot, but five star skills is needed. So five, four or five, five would be great esports if you want to do that. Hopefully his card is really good. Everybody loved his foot birthday. And then Vera 2 would be very nice as an objective grind as well. So I am excited for those cards, all three of these, honestly. And this is kind of the premise of why we think it's going to be a Syria based week. And of course, if we are getting Serie A based content, we would expect to see a Serie A cup. Now for the past two weeks as well, we have had a cup mode dropped on a promo Friday. We had the Premier League and then the Brazil cup that is ending today. Hopefully today it's a Serie A cup. Now, hopefully also it's not, it's not requiring you to play with the players from the exact same club. Remember during the Premier League Cup where it was just 18 players from the same club? That was kind of a problem. Hopefully this next week, it is not that difficult. I like what they did with the Brazil Cup, just making it 11 Brazil players in your starting 11. I think they should do 11 Serie A players or maybe 18 Serie A players to cover the bench as well. That would be very, very nice for this cup. And as long as the rewards are still very good, it will give us something to grind throughout this week. And I think we're looking forward to that today. So we expect it because that's been pretty consistent in the past couple of weeks. But that's most of the objective and SBC content that I'm expecting today via footies players. Um, we do have one more objective that is leaked and that is a Cornet left back card. Some of you guys may have seen that leak early in the week. A Cornet left back card could be another objective card released today on the game as well. But what I also want to talk about are the upgrade packs that will be coming out today and other ones that should be coming out today. Now, the first one that we know is coming out today because it's already in the game. It's literally just refreshing is the 85 times 10 and the 86 plus player pick. Both of these are refreshing today. We'll be able to do them both after the content drop today on Friday. 85 times 10, always a splash, right? Everybody's going to want to go out and do this because it's just the best footies SBC that is in the game, plain and simple. Now, along with this, we had a pack code that was added just a couple of days ago, and we have not seen it dropped in the game yet, but I personally think there is a chance that this pack could be a part of today because if you think about it, like I mentioned at the beginning, we are not getting any new cards in packs today. Footies batch two. Same cards in packs, all 150 cards are going to be staying in packs today. There is no footies batch three dropping today. That'll be a week from today, next Friday. I could see this as a big SBC EA could drop today and 
create some hype around the footies batch two players and i think this would also create a lot of panic on the market and i want to talk about that in just a little bit but again I think the best chance of this SBC or, or this pack in the game today is dropping today via SBC 90 plus times seven, specifically from Footy's Batch 2. Incredible SBC this could be right here. So think about all the stuff we just talked about for SBCs, right? Barella, 85 times 10, 86 plus player pick, uh, 90 plus times seven. All I'm thinking right now is you're going to need a lot of fodder today if you're going to want to do one or all of these SBCs. And that's why I want to take a look at fodder. And I was expecting this to happen. Fodder has dropped in price. You take a look at 84s. They're approaching 5,000 coins flat after being seven, 8,000 coins earlier on uh, this week. I think those are really, really good buys. 5,000 coins and under for a lot of these 84s. I think is a fantastic price, even a little over 5,000 coins for a card that has better links. Maybe a guy like PK who reached peaks of, you know, you can see 7.1K, but I bet on individual days, like on Wednesday, yeah, PK was 7.8, basically 8,000 coins, you know, and he's kind of dropped now all the way down to 5,000 coins. I do expect there to be some lightning rounds today, but I don't expect that to bring more supply than there is going to be demand for all the footies SBCs. So if you're gonna try to make any coins off of fodder today, or if you just wanna be getting ready, right? If you wanna say, hey Nate, I wanna stack some of this fodder in my club so I'm ready to go today when they drop these SBCs, I think 83s, 84s, and 85s are the best bet to club stock some cards. And even on the higher tier, I think if they dropped a 90 plus times seven, that's gonna be pretty expensive. It might cost 300,000 coins to get this SBC done. You might wanna club stock some 90s. 91s, right? I mean, 90 rated cards are like 20,000 coins for Lacroix, Luis Diaz, Raheem Sterling. I think I would go out and if you don't have those in your club, maybe buy one or two just so you have a little bit of high rated fodder to get ready for that potential SBC as well. Now, let me make this clear once again. We might not see this pack today, but it just it just feels like to me that we could. And, and this is another reason why, right? We also have today with the Brazil stuff ending, the footies player pick is gonna be here still. But the Brazil campaign bag, a player pick, this is gonna be going away today. So that's gonna be going away. I feel like that 90 plus times seven would be a great kind of like a substitute for this. Not that the 90 plus times seven would be repeatable. I think that would be crazy if it is. Um, but even if it's just released as a one-time non-repeatable, I think it would make the market move a lot. I think it would make fodder go up today. And I also think it would make some other cards on the market go down. So that's where, honestly, this SBC, this pack, the 90 times seven, if that drops today, it's gonna create a madness at, uh, at content drop time. And let's take a look at the market a little bit too, because if that does drop, we'll see fodder go up, but what's that also gonna do? I think it's gonna make some fodder go down um, on the game, not fodder, but it's gonna make some of your batch two cards and, and some of your just other special cards in general go down. Pierre Kalulu is like a Serie A card. And, and when I'm looking at a lot of cards right now, I'm looking at Serie A cards, right? Because we're expecting that Serie A cut mode to be out. I think that your shapeshifters in general, but specifically some of your Serie A shapeshifters, which have already started to go up in price as people are buying them for their teams or investing for a market rise. This Roberto Pereira is now 70,000 coins and he was 55K uh, earlier on, just like two days ago, right? So some of the shapeshifters have started to rise up in price already as people are are preparing right for the potential um syria cup or something along those lines you know if there's panic selling on any of these today i think that would be your first place to look shapeshifters or out of pack specials that are syria related that people would be going out and buying for their teams i would be careful with team of the season cards that are in packs rafael leao Teo hernandez are very popular syria cards but they're in packs right now so I would just have a little bit of a word of caution that, you know, since these guys are in packs, they're going to get packed today with lightning rounds that have tradable supply. And if there's some panic selling on top of that, some of these prices could go down as well. Realistically, what I think is going to happen is for the whole entire market, for a lot of your really popular players um, that are out in this game that people are using in their teams, I think you're going to see a bit of a dip and you're going to see a bit of a panic selling from, you know, the content drop time, maybe for 30 minutes to an hour after that. And then I think you're going to see some prices start to rise back up on your Serie A cards and basically most of your meta cards on this game, because I think people are going to sell c cards and go get coins to do the SBCs and then buy stuff back as they go out and they play foot champs and they play weekend league and they play the, the Serie A cup mode. So that's kind of what I'm expecting for market movements on today. But if you're purely trying to make coins or find a time to buy a card at a cheaper price, I think especially for the out of pack stuff, I would really watch in that first 
you know, 30 minutes to an hour, a guy like Kalulu, Spinazzola, even if you're wanting to buy like a Sun or a Hazard for your team, maybe it's not Serie A related, watch for that panic selling in the first half an hour to an hour because I think it will be plentiful with all of the content that we could be getting today. Now, speaking of other content that we're getting today, we are getting Summer Swaps number two, not the rewards, but the um, the tokens, right? This car design has been added to the code. It's basically the same thing as Summer Swaps 1. It just has a 2 on it. And actually, as we were just searching the market, I saw it pop up in here on the quality filter. Yeah, player rarity 147. Here it is. That is the Summer Swaps 2 token. So I would imagine today, I think on the first day, they always give us one for free. So we would expect to be given a Summer Swaps token today. And we will begin our quest to... Uh, achieve as many tokens out of the 50 that we uh, believe we are getting uh, for Summer Swaps 2, which, I mean, we're going to learn the details about that today, but I really feel like we're going to start getting the tokens today, and then we would be getting the rewards for them in two weeks. So that's just kind of a time frame to put in your mind and I guess guess on and kind of plan for. And if it's anything different than that, then we'll have to see. But I, you know, I don't think EA would make the rewards available today. Like you're not going to be able to open an 8325 today after they release, you know, a couple tokens on the game. I doubt that, but watch out for the SBCs, watch out for the objectives, uh, because those are going to start dropping over the next couple of weeks as we enter another summer swaps campaign with a lot more going on. So again, I want to take a look at these SBCs once again, because I really just feel like there's so much content that could drop today, as we just talked about, right? With the 85 times 10 being back up, um, I might even go do a little bit of a club stock on this video, because I really feel like it comes down to the 85 10, the 86 plus player pick and the 90 plus times seven. And if you're like, Nate, what if I, what if the 90 plus times seven does not come out today? I still think there's a great opportunity um, to see fodder go up today. And it's like, Nate, I mean, we're getting lightning rounds today, right? Yeah, we should get some lightning rounds, but the lightning rounds have not impacted prices on the market at all on the last two Fridays of footies, um, at least for the fodder, right? Because we've also got really great SBCs the past couple of weeks on Friday footies. So what I'm going to do right now is just go through and club stocks and this stuff because, okay, I already have one in the club for him, but it's just, it's just a no brainer, honestly, at this point because of how cheap it is and i think it's gonna the fodder is gonna rise up today because there's just so much demand um now one thing i will say too is if you're buying fodder like i am right now and you're looking to sell it for an investment or maybe just use it in an sbc i would probably try to sell it before it gets too late into the night on a friday night and know you're like nate what do you mean you said this stuff was going to go up well i think it's going to go up right away in the first hour or two and then i think uh late friday night like we saw last week as well these 84s are probably going to dip back down on Friday night um, heading into Saturday because usually, um, I think the last two weeks, EA has ran lightning rounds that were um, the, the nighttime ones. I think they've run a few of them. So we get the 50K packs, we get the 100K packs, the 125s, and then they do like the 85 star, maybe the 84 trio. There's not very many of them that are released, but it still supplies a decent amount of that fodder on the market. So I would venture to say today that it would probably bounce up on fodder in the first two hours after the release, you know, because people are going out and doing those SBCs. And then later on in the evening, as the hype dies down, you would see those prices go down a little bit on that side of the market. So, you know, that's one thing I'd be watching out for. Also, I would be very careful trying to buy a batch two card. And I think, I mean, let's talk about that for a second too, because I know some of you guys are bummed. You're like, Nate, I wanted to see batch three in packs today. And a lot of people even still were like, Nate, why is batch three? Why are some of these shapeshifters like not in packs today? Um, and I guess I'll say this. I'm not surprised that they released batch two for two weeks. You can see Sane is like, what, 287? Um, that's kind of where his price has been. You know, if this guy goes back into packs, he's probably going down below 200,000 coins. But if you guys remember to last year, you guys remember last year on FIFA 21 inside of footies, footies batch one was also in packs for two weeks. This year, batch one was only in packs for one week and batch two will be in packs for two. And then we're assuming that batch three would be in packs for two weeks as well. I like that better than the system they had last week. I mean, remember, imagine if we still had batch one cards in packs and we didn't have all of these great team of the seasons like Benzema, R Ronaldo, Neymar, Messi, Mbappe in packs right now in 150 special cards instead of 100. This last week would have been probably more dead than, you know, 
it could have been, which is nice that we had batch two in packs. So if we can, if we can kind of survive through this next week, which I think they, is very, very possible. There's so many great SPCs from the Serie A that we could get. Um, if that is the focus of content today, I think that batch two in packs is going to be just fine. Now, one thing I will say too is the 82 plus player pick is going away today. Um, it last week it was available at content drop this week. It's going away So if you do want to stack some 82 plus player picks be my guest This is very very nice for the gold rare prices on the game because gold rares have been stupid expensive as well um, And they're I mean still like 1.2 K insta selling like these guys are literally getting bought up instantly off of the market because people are going and doing 82 plus player picks uh, this should drop gold rare prices today 100 hopefully they go back down to like 800 900 coins or maybe even lower than that and if you plan to do a lot of upgrade packs i would also say that today on friday later in the evening if you're planning to do upgrade packs next week i think it'd be a great time to buy a bunch of gold rares um, if you want to go to that great length of measure to get ready for 82 plus player picks which the last two weeks have been re-released on Saturdays. So I would imagine that an 82 plus player pick would get released tomorrow on Saturday as well. That's just kind of something to think about. And we'll talk about that more tomorrow, of course. Um, but yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of movement around 6 p.m. today. That's the main focus. If they drop the 90 plus times seven, it's going to be a madness. Batch two cards are going to drop in price regardless because they're going to get panic sold and supplied even more. And then watch out for your shapeshifters and your Syria movements for some fluctuations to make coins today. Last but not least, I, I just want to take a quick second and talk about, we have gotten a couple SBCs in the past two days. Um, I, I thought Jabril So was going to be a card that was released um, on on Friday, and he was not. Now, also, I'm very curious because we have two December favorites. We have um, the Chiesa card, which, by the way, highly recommend getting this done for a Serie A week. Nice green link to Barella that would probably be dropping today. And then we also have a December favorite here for Jabril So. So I'm just confused. I thought it was one SBC per month of the year leading up to the end of footies. But for some reason, EA, I, I thought he even said that on the website, but they've just said, okay, screw it. We're going to drop two December favorites. And now we have Jabril So as well. I don't know if we're going to get another player SBC today because I almost feel like this one might have have been for tomorrow or for today, excuse me. Um, I'm just a little confused by that. I don't know who the, the January favorite is going to be. We don't have any leaks right now, but we could see another player SBC today. I'd say there's a slim chance of that um, just because we already have Chiesa, Torres, Jabril So, um, and we still have a couple. I think we still have Rafinha. Yeah, Rafinha's expiring. We still have Pato. So there'd be a lot of footies players in the game right now if they did that. I guess there's a slight possibility of them doing that, but I was just confused as why they dropped two um, De December footies favorites. Now this card is really, really good. Uh, my only problem with this is, I think that you can just go and buy Jude Bellingham off the market instead of getting this card. I know it's the new, the shiny, fun version of Jabril So. I know that his Winter Wild cards was cracked, but basically Jude Bellingham is the same card, if not a little bit better in my opinion, and they're both basically the same price. And Jude Bellingham has better links. So I think Jude Bellingham's price dropped a little bit yesterday. And you know what? That just makes me say as well, watch out for other midfielders today because, you know, a, a guy like this Jude Bellingham, who's going to get packed even more today and believe it or not, probably drop even more in price, which is crazy to think about. But I would watch some more of your midfielders because a five-star, five-star Barella dropping today in the game is going to make some waves. And I know it's going to make some Serie A cards move on the market. And it's going to make probably some of those cards go up a little bit because people go and buy them to link their teams. Uh, but a Barella card today, there's a lot of hype there. So, you know, maybe guys like a Conte even, I would say, be a little bit careful with, or maybe a, like a Lukas Paqueta would be in the realm of a card that could be moving in price. Pedri maybe moving in price today. Um, let's see, maybe one or two more examples that I could throw out there. I already said Conte looking through the list, you know, more of your like box to box type players um, that are, you know, two, three, four, five hundred thousand coins still. It, it would probably be some shapeshifters that would have the biggest impact in prices today because of a brand new midfielder getting dropped. Let me just quick click through a couple more. You know, Corona's not that expensive, so I wouldn't expect him to move that much. Um, maybe, maybe Hazard. Nah, not really. Spinazzola, I think. Could, you know, at maybe Alfonso Davies, actually. I know his base position is striker, but a lot of people probably use him in the midfield. Keep an eye on that type of card. Um, that's kind of what I would say is watch your midfield prices today because 
a Barella is going to really, really get people excited about that. So hopefully EA continue the great content. Like I said in the past two videos, there's a lot of time footies. Like if the Tammy card today is great, there's a lot of potential for some great Serie A cards. I just hope that EA gives us the right stats and gives us great content heading throughout the rest of this week to make this week of footies stand out because I think it's going to take a little more effort than it did with Brazil and Premier League to make Serie A footy stand out. So we'll see what they do for that today, but I think the 90 times 7 could be the ticket to that success on the game. But if you have any comments on what you thought about the, today's video, make sure you drop them down in the description. And if you're excited for a Serie A week of footies, let me know down there or just drop your favorite emoji because why not? Also, if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Accountant, and I will catch you guys later, and have a happy Friday. Peace.